Commuters braved a slippy journey this morning as thick ice sheets covered pavements and roads across the central belt. Visits to one minor injuries unit were up around 15% today. The majority were people who had fallen. Glasgow City Council said early morning rain landing on frozen streets created very challenging conditions. Brandon Cook reports. On streets across Glasgow today, many people opted to glide. Thick sheets of ice covered many of the city's pavements and roads, Look at the ice. Look. making life very difficult and in some cases quite dangerous. It was uh, treacherous this morning, uh, very, very slippy. Uh, I did actually adopt the uh, penguin walk, I have to say. Uh, even though it was only 10 feet to my car, I had to do it. Yeah, it was uh, quite a shock. It's slippy. <laughs> Very cold. Yeah, Quite very cold, cold very slippy. I actually nearly fell a couple of times, so yeah. Early morning rain is said to have washed the salt from previously treated roads. Of course, not all roads were treated, but it wasn't just Glasgow which felt the brunt. This was Paisley earlier, with similar conditions reported right across the west. Well, as you can see, the ice has mostly melted throughout the course of the day, and that's perhaps a sign of things to come. We're expecting a milder few days coming up than what we just experienced the past week. But for those working over here at Glasgow's New Victoria Hospital, the ice wasn't just a nuisance. In fact, it kept them busy all day. I, I just couldn't believe that I had actually fallen. 80-year-old May broke her wrist. She slipped on her way to get the morning papers. But that's me, I'll not be able to go to the swimming now for about a month likely, which gets right up my nose. <laughs> Staff here say they've seen well over 100 patients today, the vast majority of them ice-related falls. Exceptional volume of patients today, just with the black ice first thing caught people unawares. The temperatures are a wee bit warmer, so people come out thinking it probably wasn't slippy and then they've been falling. After a week of Arctic airflow, thankfully, predictions suggest a milder few days to come. Hopefully, that means less ice and fewer injuries. Brandon Cook, STV News, Glasgow.